A lot of my inspiration comes from uh, anime. Really love anime. Uh, I love everything that it stands for. What's up, GQ? This is Jeremy Grant, and these are my 10 essentials. So for my first essential, Rick Owens bag, very large bag, uh, stylish and practical. I love this bag because I can use it anywhere, uh, at any time. I don't have to check a, a bag most of the time. It looks great, um, but it's also a huge bag. I can fit multiple outfits. Uh, I have big clothes, I'm a big person, so I can fit, I fit my Rick Owens boots in, in here that I wore yesterday. The size of it and then the practicality of it, it's everything. My Rolex. My favorite, or one of my favorite Rolexes that I have, it's a presidential uh, gold face. It upgrades any outfit that I put on right away, instantly. I could be wearing a sweatsuit, I put a Rolex on, and now it's a fit. Uh, it's a, one of my favorite accessories. It's art, I think is is beautiful in itself. I don't know about other people, but I know when I wear it, I can feel the time that it took to, to create. This amazing Studio Ghibli House Moving Castle lantern that goes on my keychain. I love Studio Ghibli. Um, I love everything about it. I have a House Moving Castle earring in right now as well. The thing that resonates with me the most, uh, typically when I'm watching something or reading something, uh, I try to find a character or a person that uh, relates to me. Um, how how is definitely um, inspiration for me. I'm someone who enjoys uh, clean energy, um, and this is one of the best cleansers for energy. Um, this and my sage. The sage is, I would say, it's a bit more powerful than the Palo Santos in my experience. I think this the sage more. Um, cleanses um, space. The Sage is the Palo Santos on steroids. It cleanses rooms and large areas. Whenever I'm burning the Palo Santos, I'll use it on me. Um, I'll use it on, you know, people around me. Cleansing of um, areas, if it's a lot of people who's been in there or if you're moving into a new house or something, so. This is Selenite. It's a palm stone. Uh, it's easy to carry, so. It's one of my favorites. It cleanses energy from anyone and everyone uh, around you. And it's important for me, just you know, being around a lot of people. It allows me to refresh myself without having to go all the way home um, and take a shower, do a lot of different things. So, um, you know, at first it's trial and error, you're buying a bunch of crystals and uh, you're listening to anything that's written on them that says they do this or do that. and. Uh, I feel like for me, gradually it became me listening to the crystals rather than me listening to people talk about what they might do for me. So. These are two poetry books. The first one is The Gift by Hafiz, a Sufi poet. And the second one is The Soul of Rumi. It just resonated with me, the way he talks about uh, his love for God. And after that, um, one, of my, one of my teammates, Matisse, shout out to Matisse, he gave me the gift, um, and this is by Hafiz. This is, he came after Rumi, um, maybe a uh, hundred years or so after Rumi. So I think it resonated with me, I would say more than regular poetry, uh, just because of the love and the passion that they put into their words. You can feel their love for God, you can feel their love for poetry. Poetry is uh, another form of art that I really relate to, and um, beginning to write my own a little bit, so. Um, so I, I play music. Um, I play a, a harp, an African harp, that I uh, got when I was in Mexico last summer. Um, and uh, it's, it's an expression of self. I think it's similar to my fashion and uh, things that I like to do. Um, it's an expression of self, even basketball for me, you know? So um, yeah, I play the African harp. I'm learning the piano um, amongst a few other things. My blanket. This is extremely important to me. I got it last summer um, when I was in Mexico traveling. I met uh, a lot of friends out there, um, kindred spirits 
they gave me a few things. They taught me a lot. Um, feels like um, a blanket of like protection for me. So uh, I'm always bringing it with me. Um, I use it as a prayer rug sometimes. Uh, so I kind of mix it up. This is something that I always travel with no matter what. What separates this blanket from a typical blanket you might find at a department store is the feel. I think the feel of it, the authenticity of it. A lot of times you don't know what you're buying. You don't know what you're getting. I think when some somebody gives you something, uh, it means a lot more um, than you buying it yourself. Um, so typically the things that I, I cherish are usually gifts from people that I care about. Amazing um, the way they put it together. And yeah, when I got there, it wasn't something that I necessarily chose. I think it gravitated towards me. Um, whenever I was with them, they would bring me specifically this yellow blanket. Um, they had different colored blankets and stuff like that, but yellow felt really good to me um, at the time and it still does. to find it, my favorite necklace. It's a beautiful charm necklace that I have. Very stylish, but also the charms allow it to be extremely personal for me. But it's really nice for me um, to be able to mark different times in my life. Biogeometry, something that I'm learning about and getting into. It helps to balance the energy around you and stuff like that. Uh, different different charms mean different things. It's blue labradorite um, into stones and things of that nature. Um, the pearl here, yep, the Hansa hand, uh, the North Star, everything, um, everything on here. It resonates with me. I've always been spiritual, um, but I think uh, as I grew and as I'm growing, um, I'm learning more and more about myself, and I think everything points in that direction. So I'm just gravitating towards the things that I like to do and the things that make me comfortable. Chamomile. I'm big into herbs. Uh, took a decent amount of classes on them. Um, it is a stress reliever. It puts me in a zen state almost right away, so I'm always drinking it as much as I can. Now nah, I'm a tea, I'm a tea guy. So I use different um, mushrooms as well in the morning, um, whether it's uh, cordyceps for energy, lion's mane for, for my brain, things like that. So I'll mix a few different mushrooms in the morning and uh, chaga for uh, my immune system. And uh, I'll play off that. And then I'm ready to start my day. Uh, I feel good. Kind of moving around throughout the day when I get back home, time to relax. Chamomile, mint, depending on how I'm feeling, if I'm sickly or something, I, I might put something else in there, but uh, that's probably my basis. Really important to me, uh, it's a facial oil. Putting it on my face uh, rejuvenates my skin. Yeah, this is um, a morning routine. Wake up, meditate, shower, put the CBD on my face, and then I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, might use it again later in the day um, after I wash my face when I get back home or something like that. Like I said, it's just rejuvenating to the skin uh, and it allows me to have a certain glow. My chopsticks. First and foremost, they're practical. I love to eat different Asian foods, whether it's sushi, ramen, um, anything of the sorts. And I always have these with me just in case. You never know what I might want to eat. I love the Japanese culture. Um, I love the Asian culture. Very sturdy, um, the color, the aesthetics of it. I think everything that I enjoy has uh, certain aesthetics to it. I really enjoy having them. The weight of them is a lot better than the weight of normal chopsticks. Everything about them. Thanks for watching GQ. This is Jeremy Grant, and these are my 10 essentials.